a crew, a family. You know what time it is, as my partner Max say. You see, I'm in my, you know, gear that my bro got together for me. But today's video is going to be on, um, was the new truck that I was going to get to the camp. Mom took the truck over immediately in uh, the 99 GMC. The name of this truck right here is Babs. My Dukes um, took it over, but right now what we're going to do today is put a set of hubs on it. I ordered up both because it ain't really, I ain't going to necessarily say smart, but you know, if you replace one, you might as well replace both. But for now, I'm just going to replace the one that it need, and that's going to be the one right here on this passenger side. I'm hoping that's what it is and it's not the axle. But what I'm going to do is um, get all the tools out and get everything set up that I'm going to need to pull this apart, get the light set up, head unit set up, and then I'm going to take you all through it step by step on what we're going to do to replace this hub on this 99 GMC pickup truck, Sierra. Stay tuned, man. Hey, crew, what we got going on here, I'm going to um, pop this off because I want to say I'm going to have to loosen up that axle nut and tap it in a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, get the bolts and everything. We're going to get this caliber bracket completely removed and I'm going to set it up out of the way, probably hang it up in here somewhere. But let me see. Uh-oh. And from the looks of that, it looked like it's already been stripped so i can see this is about to get a little bit different i'm going to try and find the stars to see if i could get them in there if not i'm just going to um squeeze it all the way in and take the whole uh caliber bracket off and we'll go around it that way and then i'll deal with this other issue later but right now i'm about to grab everything i think that is what i'm going to uh, have to do from looking at this i want to say those are already stripped i'm gonna try to get them loose first and then I'm going to check y'all right back in. We're going to see if I can, but stay tuned, man. We're going to try to get these uh, loose real quick. And I'm going to let you know the size. Even though I might not take them off, I'll probably be going to this boat here. Let's see. Get you in there. You can see it. But this boat here and the one a little bit further under there, we're going to get those out and pull this whole thing off and try to see about getting this hub up off of here. But stay with me. Hey, crew. What we got here is a um, T, T55. This is the one that went up in there. I'm hoping it don't strip. If it uh, turns, I'm going to go ahead and get the C-clamp and loosen these up. But if it doesn't, we're going to go another route. But definitely want to see if it's going to turn. Top one turn, bottom one is it. See if I could get it up in there, tap it in there a little bit more. Because it'll be real nice if I can take this off the right way. And it's looking like that. Looking like a no-go, so, ouch. We'll be um, bringing it in and taking it off by the whole caliber bracket, so I'm going to grab a little tin, get this line off where the brake holes go, that way everything will move out of the way. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this ABS plug unplugged which is right here, so you get the ABS unplugged and we'll start popping this out of the grommet. Little plug right there. Oh, they had a zip tie on it. 
zip tie holding this over. So I'm wondering if this hub has been replaced before. Put a little loose, but we're gonna get to it. Let me get a um, get a 10 millimeter socket and get this off here. The little line that holds that um brake line in is a 10. But let me see what these actual caliber caliber bracket bolts are. I want to say a 19. Might be a 19 or 18. Let's see. I'm going to use this C clamp to uh, ease that caliber in. You looking like an 18. Stop throwing rocks. Stop throwing rocks, period. Leave the rocks alone. Leave them alone. Let's see. Start pulling this uh, toe brake out, girl. Matter of fact, grab me a screwdriver. Give me a screwdriver at the box. Yeah, yeah, here. Go get me a screwdriver, man. Probably in that bottom, the bottom drawer. Hey, where you going? In the toolbox over here. That ought to be enough to let this release. Now let me break these. Um, break the bolts loose on this back side. There goes nothing. Make sure it's in the off position. Let's get to that bottom one. <clears throat> ah. Ah. See, and I want to be a little lazy. You pull out the electric boy. They were 18, by the way. 18. I'm going to sit the whole caliber and bracket just up and out of the way. I had to remove it anyway. But I'll address the issue with the um, bolts itself. But these bolts are strict. So I'm gonna set that up there and out of the way. It's not hurting anybody. Now, we get this cap popped off. Let me get you off of here. I'm gonna get this popped off and um, put me a 
one of my tire bars in between this lug and break this axle bolt and then just tap it in a little bit and then we're going to start trying to remove the rest of the um bolts because i don't think i want to say let me see let me let me get this off of here and let me get y'all checked in because See what size boat that is, real quick. Go grab the four piece socket tool set. Now, let's see if we got a socket in here that's going to fit. It's a little loose. What is that? 36, so more likely it's going to be 35. Put my uh, breaking bar in between here. Okay. And now, let's see if we can get some action. I'm going to put a little... Put this breaking bar on here real quick. Hey, get around. Get around here. Yeah, here could it be? Hello. All right, look at my phone. Not too here in a second. <laughs> You said you was wrong. Yeah, that's a six out. I came up truck. The truck says six out. going to do take two to grab some heat and this hammer right here is known as big Bert. we're going to put a little bit of heat on him and then we're going to uh hit it with big Bert because i'm almost sure that this rotor should come off of here i want to say it's just due to the bad hub it's welded itself to it There we go. Ah. Cut that off. So now we're going to focus on them three bolts in the back. Let's see what size they are. See if we can't come up out of here with this thing. Like it fit any. Look like they stripped a little bit. Like maybe somebody tried before. Failed. Failed miserably. This is gonna be a fifteen. Let's 
see if we can get lucky. We get along. Stick at 15. Heat on it. Put a wrench on that one. Oh, so, let's get some PB blast on the end of these and I'll hit them with some heat. I got my deep creek. Let's see what we can do. Whoa, flame on. See if we can get it hot. Right bag up out of here. What I think I'm going to end up doing too is going to the auto parts store and replacing those bolts. Getting six new bolts so I don't have to go through it because these bolts look stripped. But somebody tried, attempted to do it before and was unsuccessful. Me up. I'm going to heat it up. Give it a little bit more heat. That way it can spin easy, but it's turning. We got one turning. Hey, boy. Not worried about frying this one because it's trash anyway. That's one down. I think I'm going to grab a 15 wrench and try to go for that top one. First, because this one I'm not really concerned. I'll, I'll get it.
to see if I can get the wrench on it. That's a pretty tight fit. I might be able to um, I might be able to work with that. I know I'm gonna get it hot. I'm gonna get this one hot, hot, because I don't want to take too many chances on stripping it. But I'm trying to get it hot. It was nothing. Oh, we're going to need a little bit more heat. We'll get it to move, and I don't want to strip it. I'm gonna do is heat this up, try to get it off, and I'm gonna turn y'all in so we can figure out what our next solution is because the issue that I'm having now is this boat is stripped, so I'm probably gonna get the saw and try to figure out how I'm gonna get in there and cut that out. I'm gonna try to heat this one up and get it off, and I'm gonna check y'all in when we get this thing off here because we got a battle on the way. Stay tuned. A found a crew after um the back side of those boats stripped, so what I did was uh, took a trip around the Lowe's, grabbed me some fresh saw saws, I had to get another one because my battery ran dead in this one, and I just went down in between here and um, started cutting, and now I'm getting ready to knock this hub off. I got to make a trip to the auto parts store so I can uh, grab another one of these boats, but these is one of the, out of the three boats that go on the back side, it's a 15. And they were stripped out anyway, so I'm gonna replace these, and then I'm gonna go on with the new hub. But for now, I'm gonna get this. Uh, let me see. Oh, well, okay. well, that is off. There's the um, old hub. I got the new one in the box in the truck. Now I'm gonna grab my. Um, I have a. Oh, I dug into that metal a little bit. I'm going to try to clean that back up around there. And I got a, ah, what do you call it? A punch. I'm going to hit these with my punch and try to knock that boat out the other side. And then I'm going to check y'all in when it comes time to go back on. But so far, on the back side, it'll just be one, two, and three bolts, and you can remove it. I had to remove the whole bracket anyway, but 
these bolts are stripped out in the back of the caliber, which are star, um, actual star bolts. Let me see what size it is, just in case you want to work on this yourself. This is a T55, but those are stripped, so I'm going to have to replace those bolts. And it's only three bolts that hold the hub in itself. What you're going to want to do is remove that hub bolt, I mean, um, axle nut, so you can just push this back a little bit. And then you got one, two, and three. But we're going to get these knocked out of there. Stay tuned. So far, that's how you remove a um, hub assembly. And we'll go back on with... Uh, the new one if we can find the new bolts tonight but so far i'm gonna clean this up and that's how you remove that thing man these are late we ale ape family man i had to take a brief intermission on my dude's truck but i came out to the auto parts store they stayed open a little later get old out of zone it's not normally where i shop but not only on top of that when i got out here i had a 20 dollar credit i ended up only spending like three bucks not only on top of that Came out here, met some old school dudes, got some mean machines, man. Mean machines, man. They out here, they hang out every weekend. I'll probably be back out next weekend to come politic with them and see what they got going on. Because they talking, going real fast. And they said they normally do this every single weekend. Cool old dudes, man. Cool dudes. They uh used to be like a hundred of them, they said. And it's down to like five of them now. But guess what? They got a new friend that's about to come to that pack because I'll be pulling up out here when I get my car together. And every other weekend, I'll probably be coming out in a different car just to hang out with these dudes, man, because they're that cool. And they gave me a lot of knowledge on transmissions and the different sizes of transmissions and kits to put it on and stuff to look forward to. And besides all that, we about to get back to the house, finish up my Duke's truck, possibly go for a little test run tonight so I can go put some gas in it. But stay tuned, man. Hey fam, we back in the lab. We back on uh, what's she uh? Mom said the name of this truck. This is Babs right here. Babs. We back working on Babs. We got the new hub. Shout out to the auto parts store. Got the bolts. I'm about to put this um together real quick. Queso's died on me. I got a little bit of cleaning up and uh wire wheel and some stuff out to do. So as soon as I get it back bolted up, I'm gonna check y'all back in and show y'all exactly what I have to do where the bolts went and. That's pretty much it, man. Stay tuned. We about to get this done right now. Like, you know, it's dark out there. But we're going to make it happen because I work for who? Me. It's that boss life. Progress report. Ape family. We have got everything back together. It's um, actually very simple. The hub nut that's in here is, uh, I think, a 32. Pop this off. Unbolt that. That way you can knock the axle in to be able to get in between these... Um, you have to push this back to be able to get a socket up in between. You're going to need a wrench for this, and you'll be able to use a socket, you know, down here. But those are going to be 15. And, you know, unplug it, of course. The plug is going to be routed in this little grommet. This is nothing but a 10 to hold the line on. And I had uh, two strip bolts here. So I had to um, take the caliber uh, bracket off itself, which I was going to have to do anyway. But I normally would have removed the brake pad and all that. But it was better anyway just removing the whole thing and getting it out the way. But stay tuned in. Diesel late. We out. We got it done. That's how you change the um, hub on a four-wheel drive 99 GMC. We yeah. decided to take this thing for a test drive, man. We at the stove grabbing a little celebration drink. Oh, wow. It's the dough lock. I'm going to go to the other side. As a matter of fact, you know, I got the key. Let me unlock the dough. Put the bros in this. So let me see if the push button don't work to unlock the dough. Whoa. Get the screws in and see if everything start back up and get down this road, man. Y'all might be able to see what this thing sound like real quick. Because it do talk that talk. It talks that talk, George. Okay. We got fire in the hole, lights on. Hey, my dude's going to love this thing, man. Let me go ahead and get down the street, ease out the lot real quick and hit it real quick. <laughs> oh, this might be a little bit too much for mama. This might be a little too much for mama, boy. Oh. 
and did what it was supposed to do. Mama gonna love that. Let me hit it one more time. I ain't gonna tell her how many times I'm gonna get to drive the truck real quick. That's it. I had my fun in the truck, but hey man, Diesel Life Garage, we check it out. This is, you know, my Duke's truck. Babs, we're gonna get it sprayed up, paint a little body work. We're gonna have another video coming because we got a busted um, leaf spring shack on the back, but I got it ordered up. But don't forget, smash that like button, share and subscribe, man, because you know, we we work on stuff here, do that.